Welcome to this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host, Rebecca Martell. In this episode, I might just change what you thought you've already crossed off your wedding to-do list. I get to introduce you to business owners that have amazing ideas for your wedding day. You can imagine it, we can create it. Here is our recipe to succeed. 35 years of experience. Hard work and dedication. Success doesn't happen overnight. Always aim the top by being very, very creative. Nothing less than perfect accepted. We never compromise. Detailed quality inspection. They call me Dr. Diamond. I wonder why. So I'm very, very excited today to have a special guest here in studio, Mr. Nitka from Global Diamond Montreal. He has over 35 years of experience in the jewelry industry, and he's going to share with us his success story. Welcome to the studio. My pleasure. Thanks for being here. Please tell me, how did you become one of the most successful jewelers in Montreal? You know, it all started uh, 35 years ago. I started my business, my first business as a diamond cutter. And after a few years, I, I felt the passion to do some more. You know, when you cut diamonds, normally you start with uh, one facet, the round the diamond is 56 facets. I started with one facet and I complete the whole diamond process of production. Then I felt I need to do some more. It was not enough for me. So my next step was, uh, okay, I'll try to cut now a, a princess cut diamond, square diamond. And at the same old process over, over again. And I completed, I become expert in cutting diamonds. That's how you got one of your nicknames. Yeah, one of my customers that know me for a very long time, you know, he said, you know what, I'm not going to call you Eod, I'm not going to call you Nitka, I'm going to call you the Dr. Diamond. And then it's stuck, I have some old customers that uh, stick to the name uh, Dr. Diamond. Well, whatever works for them, works for me. So Global Diamond Montreal isn't just for people getting married and looking for the wedding ring. You give back to the community, don't you? Share with me about that. Yeah. I learned in my 35 years of experience, I always have a passion to to do more, to give more. And uh, I realized that it is funny, but as more I give back to the community, as more I give back to my customers, it's coming back to me. Sure. So there is a karma, I don't know what, how do you call it, but it's working excellent for us. More I give, more coming back to us. And this is, a, it's a huge satisfaction for us. And how do you give back to the customers how? or to the community? I'll tell you. For example, if you're going to go to our Facebook, you're going to see that every three months, we are just giving away diamond jewelry. So going back to the wedding day, what would you like bride and grooms to know about your business? Uh, there is few, few elements that never compromise with Global Diamond Montreal. First, 35 of, uh, years of experience brought us to know what is the best quality, price, and designers. We have our designers and we can design stuff. We are very, very creative. We are very proud of create out of the box. I can tell you a fun story if you like to hear. We are now in the middle of a very fun story about creation. Okay. Let me tell you how it started. A few weeks ago, I was watching television, the MTV, music show. And I was watching and there is this uh, super talent, energetic, artist, Bruno Mars. Yeah. I was watching Bruno Mars was singing about 24 karat gold. I was so amazed with the positive energy that this guy had. And I say, you know what? I felt so good. I said, I have to design something for Bruno Mars. It's have to come out here. It inspired you. It's inspired me. I said, you know what? Such a positive energy. And I really want to do something, represent his success, represent his prosperity and his positive energy. 
And I was started to watch what, uh, what kind of jewelry he was wearing. And I realized that he liked yellow gold. He liked diamonds, obviously. He have a nice crosses on his neck. And I see uh, small details that me as a jeweler, I can see. He loved to wear jewelry with a black background. So I came out with design that I'm wearing it here, and it's a Born to Prosper ring with the diamond cross, and it's a super nice, unique design that I made for Bruno Mars. Mm. And you know what? Uh, there is some communication going on between us and Bruno Mars. We might have a good news for you later on. I cannot continue talking about it, but we never know where it's going to end up. So inspiration can come from anywhere, and that's a beautiful story. Yeah, I, c I can see it home in the evening, and oh. I inspired by Bruno Mars and we have a beautiful creation here. Now speaking of the creations that you make, you said it's something that the bride gets to wear every day. It's not a dress that's in the closet, it's not a cake that's in a memory. How important is that to you? Right. I'll tell you, we realize that, uh, you know, the wedding day, it's the most important day of the of the couple. They're getting married and this is, a, this is huge. But we realize also that, uh, you know, uh, the flowers the next day gonna be somewhere, the, the clothes gonna be somewhere. But the only thing from the wedding day that the, the people, the, the bride gonna wear every day is the ring. That's why we know nothing less than perfect accepted for us. We know that this ring gonna be follow the, the finger of the lady for the rest of her life and it's have to be perfect. So that's one of the guidelines, you know. It's have to be perfect. It's she she gonna live the dream every day with her finger, over and over again. I have to make sure that it's perfect. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for coming into studio. Thank you for sharing your pieces. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. We want you to go onto the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Global Diamond Montreal, where you can see the rest of the video and apply on his contest. I'm so excited to be wearing one of these wedding dresses today and I'm just as excited to introduce you to Mika from Bridal Bazaar. She has the shop that's down in Westmount and she's going to tell us all about it. Welcome back Mika. Thank you. Mika, tell me about your store. We sell dresses, uh, wedding dresses. We have also evening dresses and uh, we try to help uh, the future bride. Your wedding dress store is a little different than everybody else's, isn't it? What's the concept? The concept is to help everybody uh, having the nice dress that they, they dream for, uh, for a reasonable price. Mm. So tell me about that. Tell me, what is the highest price dress in your store? The highest uh, uh, price is uh, under $19.99. Now that's the opposite of most wedding dress stores. Most stores, it it's starts. True. That's why we are a special one. Mm. Tell me about the different shapes and designs of dresses in your store. The different shape, uh, it's uh, the regular one like mermaid or A-line a or uh, princess dress. Mm -hmm. Yes, like Very you. Very fluffy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, always it's important to see what is the bright, what is the shape of the body in order to judge what is the best. That's true. Someone that could wear one of these dresses wouldn't be able to pull off a mermaid dress or a column dress. So how does that happen? When a bride comes into your store and she starts looking around, does the salesperson really take lead? Yeah, we just ask her what she what she dream and what she need and we just adjust the mm. dream. Mm. <laughs> and that's wonderful that you don't need to start off with budget and start pulling things out because everything is already at such a great price. Yes, but uh, they, they still ask. <laughs> They can't believe that the prices are so reasonable. Oh, wonderful. And another reason that one of these dresses are so reasonable is because they've been used in photo shoots, is that right? They were used one time. Mm -hmm. And let's say that uh, the dresses in the stores, wedding gowns stores, are always used oh, because yeah. somebody tried it. Try them on many times. Yes. So this could be a sample or it could be from a designer directly from them. And it's, it's one of a kind piece, isn't it? Yeah. So you're kind of looking for a Cinderella to come in and slip into the right dress. Yes. That's one of that's a special feeling knowing that it's only made for you. And it makes people feel unique. Mm. And again, that's what your sales associate is for. Is it best for them to make an appointment or just come in when they see the store if on the street? If they walk on the street and they enter, they will receive the same attention like uh, they will take appointment, but for sure it's much better to take appointment. Mm. And uh, they should bring a few people with them to pass a few hours? 
I think that they need some people like the mother, the sister, everybody want to be seen like uh, in the show say yes to the dress ah. there is all the family there <laughs> so it's good to bring them in and get their opinion and get their input and and it's not just the bride dresses that you have there you also have evening gowns yeah we have evening gowns uh, because the wedding is not only the bride and the groom mm. there is another people that participate and need to be well dressed Oh, so that's wonderful. So someone that's coming in to help the bride pick out her dress, she can also search yeah, for dresses. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's exciting. It's the same uh, destination for them. Mm. Now tell me about that. So there's different style dresses that take on different accessories. Because some of the dresses need a long veil, some of them need a short one, which also determine the the hairstyle. True, eh? if you're going to be wearing a big long veil, you need something that's not going to compete yeah, with that. Something more simple, but if it's something that show your hair more, for sure you can play more. And that definitely makes a difference, like you put a nice little uh, sparkle in my it's hair. It's very classic, so, uh, the thing that you have. It's yeah. very elegant and there is no too much. You don't need even the the necklace. Mm, you can definitely yes. get with that. Yeah. And tell me about, do you also have dresses that would be like more relaxed or destination weddings? Cool. Yeah, we have. We have and we can help with this, mm. yes. So that's some of the information they should bring. They should where they're getting married, how big of a wedding, how fancy. Yes, and what they want. They want short dress or long dress or in the middle. It's mm. something that uh, we need to figure out. Mm. And every body type. So what if the dress that they find is almost fitting them but not what do you do then we have a studio uh, that do alterations mm -hmm. so they will be served the same way and for the price that you're paying an, an alteration is only going to make it that much yeah, better exactly yeah so that's something you have to keep in the mind yes even the uh, very expensive dresses need alteration because the dresses are not made for the person, mm. if there is uh, some kind of necess necessity to adjust, we need to do it. And I think that's important because on your day of, you're really going to see it in the pictures that she's yes. comfortable. Yes, oh. and it will stay a long time <laughs> after. <laughs> that's true, that's yes. true. So you're going to help them out with all of that yes. as well. Wonderful. So Miki, you brought a model in today to show off some of the dresses. Yes. Who is the designer? The designers are uh, Ovid Cohen, is an international famous designer uh, from Israel. and uh, That's wonderful to have that here in Montreal available. Yes. And we also flew in another model from Israel, her name was Maya. Yes, she was uh, dressed by a local designer. So wonderful, so you can try dresses that are local from here or from overseas in your store. That's wonderful. Well, she did a wonderful job, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for coming into the studio and you sharing with us your welcome. dresses. Thank you. When you're ready to head to Bridal Bazaar, try on your dresses, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on their link. I am now happy to say that I have Renato here from Lita Furniture in our studio, where he's going to help us out with more questions you might have about making your house a home. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me in your studio today, Rebecca. Let's talk a little more about your team that you have at the store because you couldn't bring them all here with you today. Who is it that's a part of your team at the store? We have uh, quite a few salespeople, but we also have a two designer in the store. So whenever you have ideas, uh, just to bring it over. It's important that, that you come in with the ideas and if you can bring some pictures, measurements, so at least when you come to the store, they can really help you out uh, at 100% because they know where you're living, they know your space, and they have an idea. Oh, so that's going to help them build on what you already have at home. Exactly. In store, they can actually sit down with you and give you a little consultation? Exactly. They in, in, If they come to our store, the consultation will be for free. Of course, if uh, the customers, they need more, the couple, they're looking for more additions information, they can even come to your house, but that would be on your own uh, expenses. But in the store, we offer this for free. So bring, that's why I say, bring your pictures, bring uh, picture of, uh, measurements, uh, idea what you're looking for. The most you can, because they can help you in the story. They can help build off of Of course. That's wonderful. Now, let's talk about the internet. A lot of people are buying things on the internet and going that way. You use the internet in your store as well. 
We use the internet. Uh, mostly uh, we work directly with our companies because we build up the items and we can show already what it look like in the in the store. So there is a company that they are, they have those software, those programs that uh, once we you choose the fabric, the color, the style, we build that up for you right there so you can see already you have a pretty good like a 90% idea what it will look like once once it's done, you know? So that's so, fun. So I see a sofa in your store that's in white, but I want to see what the full sofa is going to look like with a different fabric. And in sofas, uh, they, they haven't experimented that, uh, that option yet, but uh, for dining sets, there is a few companies on the market that they already offer those programs. Um, eventually, the the sofa makers, uh, the they will they will join them, but for the moment it's mostly for dining 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 sets. Oh, for the chairs. Yeah. Now, when we talk about style and wanting to style my home, does what type of house I own depend on what sort of style I should put inside? Well, the inside of your home should pretty much reflect a little bit to the ex the exterior. Okay. Because if you buying an old home. Of course, you don't going to go inside. You're going to find super modern furniture inside. So you got to kind of uh, blend in with uh, what your uh, the exterior reflects to the interior. So it makes it easy to flow, you know? So that's fun. When you have a nice new condo, you can put in different pieces than an exactly. old smoking room. In condos, uh, I mean, we have a different uh, type of furniture made for condos because we know the areas are a little bit more restricted. Some of them, I mean, there are also some condominiums that they, they're penthouse, they're enormous. It depends, but most of the time we have uh, already furniture made to go in condos made in special sizes. Oh, wonderful, yeah. so you can accommodate that. Of course. So brides and grooms traditionally, they lived at home until they got married and then they moved out. This has changed over the years. They might have lived together before. How has this changed in what they need after their wedding day? Well, put it, put it this way, uh, it depends. If they live, uh, they're still at home with their parents, it's uh, it's a completely new way. You gotta start basically from uh, eight to zero. Okay. You need everything. When you're with your parents, you just have uh, your room. Yes. And now you're looking, you gotta have your room, your uh, living room, you gotta have uh, your uh, dining room. So it, it, it evolves very nicely. But that's why with our, our, our expertise at the store, like we can make those steps really like a flow like just you just have to tell us what kind of house you bought what you're looking for and we'll take it from there we'll guide through to and it's going to be very fun it's nothing to worry so you say as some couples if they have been together a long time and they already have all their key pieces what else can you offer to them oh there is a lot you can you can go uh, there is a lot of there's right now a lot of couples they come in they're looking for cinema maison Mm. home theater so they want to spend the you know they work hard they get home they want to spend a good time home they want to watch movies with surround sound we had these sofas and the arrangement to fit all that you know and that's what we see lately a lot of people they like uh, to do patio sets uh, for the exterior they really go Lately, more and more, they really invest more time even the exterior, not just the interior. They do a patio sets. We do have furniture for that as well. Oh, to, wonderful. To Take the it all outside, make an extra room. Yeah, that's the idea. So uh, there is a plenty of things that you can always add to it. So tell me, do you think that every room should be styled differently or should it have a flow? It should have a flow, but of course, uh, every room is different. It's like a person. Every person is different. You have a master bedroom, you have a kid's room, you have a guest room. So they all have a different personality. So basically, every room should look different uh, and have a flow at the same time, but there is nothing wrong to feel completely different as well. So that's why designers are going to be there to help us, right? Exactly. That's the idea. So is there anything else that you wanted to share with the viewers? Sure, I want to say to the new couples, I mean, if they, they get enough money for their weddings, <laughs> we have uh, easy payment plans. Uh, we go up to 26 eco payments, uh, interest-free, so we make it very easy also and affordable for the couples. And uh, come and see us, uh, take advantage of all those uh, services that we offer. It's uh, worth a while to and Come take and your time us. looking around too because it's a huge showroom you need the time to look at everything you've been to the store yeah. you know what it looks like it was like. beautiful so when you're ready to start either adding to your home or starting a new home go to lead furniture or go to the showcase wedding website and then click on their link 
If it is time for you to start thinking about getting in shape, then I am here now with Yalitza Garcia from Mambo Fit Studio, and she is going to help you out with that. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about your background in fitness and in dancing. Yes, so I started dancing when I was four years old. I started taking tap and jazz uh, classes. And then when I was six, it was the first time I stepped into a gym with my mom. When I was 13, I started teaching and I haven't stopped since. And at Mambo Fit Studio, what is it you offer to brides or grooms? We offer you a great variety of dance and fitness classes. So our way of seeing things is that you should be able to get in shape and work out while having fun and dancing at the same time. So let's start with that. Let's start with fitness. What type of classes do you offer? So we offer classes like Zumba, which is uh, you know dance fitness on Latin uh, music. Um, but it's not your regular Zumba class. It's really fun with me. And uh, we also offer a class called Payo, which is a mix uh, between Pilates and yoga. There is a, called, a class called Size, which is uh, also dance fitness, but uh, hip hop based or street jazz. Um, we offer also turbo kick classes, which is kickboxing. And there is also salsa and bachata, which is uh, Latin dances. That's fun. Now getting in shape, it's a long-term thing. It's something people have to think of long-term, but how long are your classes or your sessions? So the sessions generally are from 10 to 13 weeks long. And we are there every day. So every day we're gonna have a chance to do either a fitness class or a dance class. Um, and of course, we don't want you to be there only 10 weeks. We, we, we want you to be there like your whole life if possible. Why do you think working out is so important to people? It's really important to do a type of physical activity, whichever you prefer, because uh, it helps you stay healthy, it helps you be happier, it helps you make new friends maybe. And especially if you go to a place like ours, you know, in the studio, um, people feel like they're working out with family, with friends. So it's, it's also the social aspect. So you are gonna be a healthier, happier, person with more friends. And what type of reviews have you heard from your customers? We, we have had lots of good reviews regarding the quality of the classes and the variety, but the ones that I love the most is to hear them say that they feel like they're working out with friends. They don't feel intimidated. They feel at home. You know, it's sometimes when you go to a gym and you don't know what to do when you see all these people training and you're like, oh my God, what should I do? Or you go to a dance studio and you see them dancing so well and you're just learning. You're and just you, starting the choreography. Yeah, yeah. and you're, you just, sometimes you just don't want to be there. Uh, whereas at the studio, it's such a welcoming environment. You feel really you're going to a friend's house just to have fun and dance a little bit. Oh, wonderful. And besides the fitness, what other things do you offer at this uh, Mambo Fit? Yeah, we offer the dance classes, as I told you, and we also offer the space for rentals for small events. Uh, if you need a, pay a place to do your bachelorette, your bridal shower, um, even if you're hosting a small wedding, um, up to 120 people, we can help you with that. That'd be fun. Everybody come, they have a good time. Yes. Get worked out. So, what type of events have you had? Bachelorette? We have a bachelor. We have had bachelorettes, and there is also one girl who contacted us, and she's gonna host her bachelorette there in a couple of months. And we're gonna do a little Zumba class, and then they're just gonna stay there to have a good time with uh, amongst friends. So besides having your weekly workout classes and going to have fun at Zumba, you teach other styles of dance. What other styles? Mainly Latin dances like salsa and bachata. And thank God I have the help of my partner, uh, Rodolfo. He's, uh, he's the Latin dance teacher at the studio. Oh, so he's going to give us some more information on that. Of course. Yes, he will. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. So now, as you can see, I'm joined by Rodolfo from Mambo Fit Studio. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Happy to be here. Tell me a little bit about your background in dance and fitness. So um, I started dancing uh, a long time ago when I was living in Mexico, around 15 years ago. And then I moved to Montreal. I was part of uh, different troops, professional troops, where we perform and uh, I dance with um, different schools in Montreal that have been here. And I perform in congresses and parties and this and that. So it's been a while that. And at Mambo Fit, uh, what type of styles of dance do you teach? I'm more in charge of the Latin dances because my partner is taking care of all the workouts and fitness classes. So I'm doing uh, mostly bachata and salsa, and, and that's, that's the classes that we're hosting there. 
So couples can come to you because they want to learn a set to perform for their guest. Is that right? Exactly. We have coach uh, uh, couples that uh, they want to to perform in, in front of their their guest on their special night, special special day. So we help them out to to you know connect and have a little choreography that they can work and be comfortable. Most of most of, uh, of uh, what we recommend is to be comfortable with themselves. And how long would that take? How many sessions or classes would it take to be comfortable to perform? Well, we we recommend around uh, 10 sessions, 10 sessions where you can, you know, work in your coordination, work in the leading and follow, and people are gonna, we want them to connect. We don't want them to make a huge show. It's not a competition. It's mostly for them to be comfortable in their special night. So 10 weeks, so and if they had two left feet, would you have to double that? Well, <laughs> that happens, that happens, and, and uh, we understand it's a, it's a huge night, it's a, it's a lot of pressure, family is there, you know, so we want, we also offer for the people that, are, you know, they try, they, they're not that um, comfortable enough, so we, we can provide the service of a corporate event where I'll bring my dancers, I perform, and we do the animation as well. So if a couple wanted to have somebody come in and perform, what's the usual style of dance that you would do? Okay, we, we have several numbers. Uh, we can do uh, a salsa number, a bachata, uh, Jalitza does a flamenco incredibly. That's how I fall in love with her. So that we can, we can host that. And uh, also we stay, uh, we stay a little, little while after the performance to animate, to invite everybody to the dance floor to spark the night. Oh, that's fun. Yes, get yes, everybody yes. up and excited to go. Yes, for sure. We, we, we get them. We get them. And when you're teaching dance, what's your favorite style of dance to teach? Well, I'm mostly a salsa dancer. A salsa dancer, and it's, it's my specialty, if we want to call it that way. So, and I enjoy it the most as well. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your passion with us. Thank you for having us, and please don't hesitate to give us a call to dance with us. Beautiful. So you go to the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Mambo Fit, and start dancing. We met in high school. Um, both of our brothers were friends. My brother lent her brother something and um, couldn't reach my brother, so he gave it to her, knowing that uh, I was in the same high school as her. So one day she came up to me and said, hey, um, this, is, this belongs to your brother. And from then on then, um, I added her on Facebook, on MSN Messenger back in the day. Um, we started chatting on and off, and um, it came, it just clicked. We just, we just started dating after six months. We didn't want to take it a rush. I wanted to make sure she was the one. And uh, it just, just started from there. I knew she was the one it, since the beginning. It was love at first sight. It was very, very love at the first sight. She, she's been there through my ups and downs um, most of the time. And from then on, I, I was like, you know what? She, she's, she's amazing to me. She's absolutely amazing to me. So that's when I, I knew she was the one for me. Her family is, uh, is very old school Italian. So I, uh, I brought her dad out for breakfast to ask for my blessings to the, go ahead and propose to her daughter and you know marry her. And uh, it started off by me getting flowers in the day, surprising her at work with the flowers. She was, she was a bit, uh, you know, she, I think she had an idea what was going on, but uh, I brought her to uh, Mount Royal. She, she never went there before. I thought it was a very, very sentimental place to go ahead and uh, propose to her. I, did, I went on my knees, of course. I popped the question. I had a very vague, you know, um, proposal to her. It was extremely cold, it was November 18th. I remember the exact date, and it was seven o'clock at night. It was the weather was horrible, so we were just shivering. And after, as soon as I popped the question, we just left. We went off for supper, and uh, and yeah, it was that's that's how I proposed to her. And I said yes. Thank you for watching this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host Rebecca Martel. If you're a business owner that would like to be featured on our next episode, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website and find all the information you need. And to all the newly engaged brides and grooms, we want to wish you felicitations, congratulations, mazel tov.